Hey guys, it's Devin, and I have come to you with a new type of YouTube video that I am so excited to share with you. I have been wanting to do book reviews for years now, and whenever I read a book that I love or that has an impact on my life, I immediately want to share it with my friends and family, and now I want to use this outlet to share it with you. So I am in quarantine in Wood Bali, um, and yeah, so I've been having fun with the books that I've collected here. Um, and have finished reading some really epic stuff. So today I want to talk about my new recent favorite, Euphoria by Lily King. So in this video, I want to have fun with it and I want to share my passion and enthusiasm for reading and why I wholeheartedly recommend and love this book. So I want to tell you a little bit about what is it about, what was my process of finding and reading it, and who I recommend this book for. Ah, all right, so I am a lover of used bookstores. I go hunting, I find gems, I have such a fun time doing that. And there is an epic used bookstore in the town of Ubud, and I love going hunting and finding good books. Now, this one jumped out at me, and I don't normally read books like this because it's a love story and you know all those things and that's not normally what i gravitate to i usually go toward like psychological thrillers or things that are really intellectually stimulating and i felt an intuition to read this book and i am so happy that i did i was so gratified with so many aspects of this book now what is it about so this is i guess technically a historical fiction if you will now it is inspired by a real life anthropologist um, and it's about three young anthropologists in the 1930s that are in a love triangle and studying and living with local tribes in Papua New Guinea. Now, there was so much about this book that I loved. I read it in two different sittings. I started it when I was living in an old place and then I went through a pretty traumatic move to the place I'm in now. And then I finished it as an escape when I landed here and I was <sighs> so the feeling I have about this book is kind of exactly the name. It's called Euphoria, okay? And I was sad when this ended. This book is a couple hundred pages and it literally <clears throat> could be twice the size. There's that much that happens. There is that much information in it. Now, it is told by Andrew uh, Bankson's perspective while also having journal entries by another character named Nell. And Nell is married to Fen, and they met traveling <clears throat> and working together as anthropologists. They run into Andrew Baxson, and they have this journey together through traveling and studying local tribes in the 1930s. Now, I this is a special book, and usually at the used bookstore, what I do is I finish a book, I go back, because they have credit, <clears throat> And then I find some new books, but I couldn't do it with this book. I didn't want to let it go. It was so special. And I, after I finished it, I went in, you know, with my quarantine mask and a lot of hand sanitizer and all the regulations around it. Um, I was like sad because I was afraid I was not going to be able to find another book like this. And I didn't even know like where to look. Um, and I absolutely loved the characters. Now, what's so great about this book is it spans over time. It spans through different perspectives. It has backstories with um, the different characters, and it's also very much in the traveling and the learning of these Aboriginal tribes. Now, I loved everything about this book. There was only one time where I was like, okay, let's get more to the relationships. But from then, like when it ended, I was like, I just want to go back and I want to hang out with these characters and I want to be in their heads. And there was so much intelligence in the, in the writing of this. Even though this is a fictional story, it felt so real. I felt like I was in New Guinea with these young, exciting thinkers that were revolutionizing the way that this stuff is done. So what I loved about this book is that it was intellectually stimulating. It was an adventure, so you get this taste of these different routes of travel and these adventures and exploring these tribes. There is action, there is love, 
there is everything that you need in a good novel and there is a reason that it was one of the best 10 books of 2014. I had never heard of this book. I didn't really have too many expectations other than feeling like, okay, this is going to be good if it won all these prizes, so I'll give it a chance. And I was blown away by it in the sense where I just wanted to tell people about it because I felt like I learned a lot. I felt like I was so in it with the characters and when it was over I just like I've never felt this way about a book before but when it was over I just almost wanted to like go back and like save savior like like savor like the journey you know and yeah so I was so happy about this book I mean five stars all the way um, it was so, you know, brilliantly done. It reinforced my love for reading and the power of a good story. It reinforced, you know, like this deep respect that I have for writers. You know, I'm a writer myself and I just, I was just loved getting in this, this author's, you know, process with this book. It was so well done and I was so impressed with it. So. I recommend this book to anybody who loves to travel. As a traveler myself, I felt like I really got it in a sense of like really being in the jungle in New Guinea and just like what those struggles were. I'm in the jungle now and you know, obviously it's not as, it's not like the 1930s, but I really enjoyed that. So if you like travel and adventure and exploring and learning about different cultures, this book is for you. If you like, you know, psychological stimulation and good intellect and thinkers and people who are kind of, you know, on to something big with their work, you know, in a time where this stuff is, you know, sort of newer, so it's for you. If you love a good love triangle and all the things that come with that, I mean, this is for you. It's got the whole thing and it worked, which is awesome. So I wholeheartedly recommend this book, 100%. It's probably one of those kind of books where you pick up at the right time for sure. Um, it, I read it quite quickly. I read it in like two sittings or maybe three sittings or something like that. It's not really big. Um, it's easily read and it's one of those books where, you know, when I finish a novel, I'm not too attached to it. You know, I keep nonfiction and things like that, but I'm kind of quick to just like hand over my novels or give them back or donate them to a bookstore, that kind of thing. But this is a book, this is a novel that I would keep and I would enjoy rereading over time or I would really just like give to the people I love and then say, yo, but don't get rid of that book though because I want it back, you know? And there's not that many novels I feel that way with. Um, and yeah, I was so impressed with this book and it was just such a <clears throat> yeah I haven't really like fell in love with a book I mean I've been highly impressed with the, I mean I've loved books but I've been highly impressed with the book you know that kind of thing and definitely recommend them but I don't know there's something really special about this book so if you're into something new if you want to have an adventure if you're sitting in quarantine and you're a bit bored that kind of thing um, there's a reason this is a national bestseller so I wanted to share my passion and enthusiasm with reading and I want to share more of that with you um, and I want to use this outlet to share that love and share that joy. You know, I really enjoy this and I've been giving myself reading challenges on Goodreads and things like that and yeah. So I'd love to hear from you guys if you've read this book. You know, when I finished, I was like, I just want to talk to people about it, but I don't want to give spoilers and, uh, and I don't know how to do this. But if you read this book and you want to chat with me about it, you know, um, or if you enjoyed this review, we'd love to hear it in the comments. If you have, you know, when I finished this book, I was like, oh my God, how do I find another book like this? Like, how do, you know, so if you've read it and you have other recommendation, recommendations of other books like this, I would love to hear that in the comments. So please share that. Um, and if you've enjoyed this review, please leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to do more. I want to kind of use my YouTube um, and shift a little bit away from talking just about human design and open it up to other things that I love in my life and share it with you guys because that is what is making me feel alive right now. So through that, 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thank you for supporting my sharing and all those good things. You can find all my contact information in the description below with my website, my work, and all that good stuff. And sending you guys a lot of love. Hope everybody is safe and healthy during this global time of uncertainty. And I will be back with more book reviews. Um, so yeah, keep in touch. Friend me on Goodreads, all that good stuff. And sending you guys a lot of love. Thanks for now.